Hi everyone, my name is Tejas Kirish Babu and I will be uploading a series of videos related to networking. Well, in today let us learn about network fundamentals. Well, when I say fundamentals, we will be learning the very basic of the networking industry. Well, this video is not only for the people who are applying for a CCNS certification, but it is also for the people who are interested in networking and want to learn a few things about networking or want some reference related to networking concepts. Well, without any delay, let's move forward. Well, as you can see in this two image, well, there are two laptops which are connected to each other with the help of a cable. And there is communication between these two laptops with the help of this cable. This cable is a CAD5 cable. As you can see, this is a cable. The outer is a protective layer. And inside that, there are eight tiny cables which are connected to a RJ45. This is RJ45 which I am pointing over here. And uh, as you already know, you will be having this port in your computer. This port is called as a network interface port. With the help of this port itself, the communication takes place between the two devices and the cable is connected. Well, um, the communication that takes place between the two devices with the help of this cable can be called as Ethernet. Well, now let's move forward. Well, now let's learn about uh, network topologies. First is star topology. In star topology, well, uh, number of devices are connected to a central switch or a knob. If one device stops working or is failed, it does not affect the other systems. The other systems works um, regularly. If, but the main disadvantages of this is a hub or a switch fails means the entire network collapses and all the devices will uh, stop working. Well, coming to bus topology, the bus topology, all the systems are connected to a central cable which can be called as the backbone of the network. Well, advantages of this is cost is very low and less usage of cable and um, adding new uh, devices is very easy and it will not interrupt the other devices. But disadvantages of this is the it will, performance becomes slower when more devices are added and uh, as uh, similar to star topology if uh, the central uh, cable is, uh, stops working means the entire network is collapsed and all the devices will stop responding or it's failed. And coming to ring topology, in ring topology the uh, connection between the each devices and um, like um, if one device stops working it does not affect the other devices other devices will work uh, as uh, regularly and um, there is no uh, switch or hub in ring topology there is only connection between each end devices well when um, my suggestion is that uh, compared to other topologies ring topology is the best topology and uh, currently they are using more of ring topology in today's technology well um, that's all for today guys hope you enjoyed this video and i'll up be uploading um, another video related to uh, fundamentals as soon as possible thank you